Greetings, Earthlings. If you were wondering, what is three prime and five prime? What does that mean? Hmm. Well, good question. I'm going to explain that to you right here. So let's start off with our nucleotide structure. This right here is a deoxyribose nucleotide. So this is the monomer unit, this whole thing, the monomer unit of a deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA. So this is the monomer unit. One of these is going to be attached to another one of them, which is attached to another one of them, which is going to make a long chain of nucleic acids. So the components here, we've got our phosphate group, our deoxyribose sugar, five carbon sugar, and our nitrogenous base. These are going to differ. Okay, this stays the same. This stays the same. This is where we have our A's, our T's, our C's, and our G's. Okay, depending on which of those nitrogenous bases you have, that's going to determine what kind of nucleotide you're dealing with. But this thing right here, this is what determines that three prime, five prime thing. So those numbers just come from um, a name given to each of the carbons. This is the one prime. That's, that's the two prime. This is three prime, four prime, and five prime. Okay, so those numbers, three prime and five prime, just uh, they're just telling you the orientation of this of this nucleotide. So, whoops. So the five prime that is essentially like it's your top. It's like it's the top of your nucleotide. The three prime is kind of like it's the bottom of the nucleotide. Okay, so this nucleotide is then going to be attached to another one. Okay, here's a simple version. Phosphate, phosphate, and then this is the sugar, sugar, and here's the base, base. Okay, it's going to be attached to another one. Okay, so it's just the sugar phosphate backbone. Okay, that's going to be this, this chain right here. The bases, these are going to be connected to another strand of DNA on the other side. This other strand is right here. The bases are what form the lines in between. Okay, so if you have one strand of DNA that has its five on the top, that's going to be this over here. It's got its five on the top. And then the bottom of every one of these, so the bottom carbon here, the bottom carbon here, the bottom carbon here, those are all going to be the three three prime carbons. So at the bottom here, this is just going to be a three prime. So the thing with DNA is it's anti-parallel, meaning that the strands are going to be opposite each other. So this one here, that's going to be a three prime, and this is going to be five prime. It's always going to be like that. Okay. Always going to be that you have five on one side, three on the other side. It doesn't need to be that five is on this side and three is on this side. I mean, it could be flipped around and this is just going to be flipped around. It just depends on which way you're looking at it. If we were to look at this from behind it, it was just going to be flipped around. It just depends on the way you're looking at it, but they're always going to be opposite each other. So this anti-parallel thing is, um, you kind of think about it like this. If we look at my little markers, it's like that. Okay. They're parallel to each other, but you have one going this way and one going this way. They are anti-parallel to each other. It's always going to be like that. All right. So I hope this clears up the three prime, five prime thing. All right. Let me know if you have any questions.